I'm Debbie Bell Hosking for Finextra TV here at Cybos 2023 in Toronto and I'm joined by Patricia Saliba of Deutsche Bank and we're going to be chatting about the evolving KYC landscape. Patricia, a hearty welcome to the Finextra TV studio. Thank you. <laughs> We're talking KYC. Yes. And KYC checks are critical to preventing financial crime, but historically they are fraught with administrative challenges. And with new regulation coming in, how do you see this evolving? So I think perpetual KYC is the new norm for the next years. And in my view, we have to get away of old fashioned ways of filling out paperwork, right? For instance, if you want to buy coffee, you download an app and you register in minutes. If you are uh, updating your passport, right, you submit documents online and it's approved in days. And it should not be any different for banks, really, right? In order to maintain uh, a bank account, uh, your records must be up to date, uh, the customer purpose of relationship as well, and the controls in place to ensure proper life cycle management of the entire relationship. Right, and probably good for the environment too to get rid of all that paper. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, yes. So what opportunities are you seeing in this space? So the pace is changing, right? And the banks and banks of services have no other option but to adapt and accelerate investments in infrastructure uh, to get up to speed. Uh, if you look at money orders and cash pay payment, uh, uh, they decreased in steadily between 2017 and 2021, while you would see a grow in online payments during and post-pandemic, right? There's uh, an opportunity in high volumes, low value payments, and with the appropriate level of KYC, this can take place. Either if you are a small business owner or a global organization, you can actually benefit from a line of credit, financing your supply chain, multiple currencies, and among us, Augsters uh, as well. Yeah. yeah, and do you think the pace of change, do you think it's happening fast enough? Uh, we will see, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> uh, I would highlight the cybersecurity transformation uh, projects and the investment in specialized staff. Uh, also something to consider and define the next steps uh, in the industry overall. And why is it important to identify bad actors? Uh, I would not only say that, but also uh, the reliable ones, right? They are also important. Yes. Uh, in true honesty, uh, governments, companies, individuals must stay vigilant, right? A healthy financial environment not only protects the financial system, but also broadly the society where we live. And just listening to you talk, Patricia, there is lots happening in KYC. What's coming next? What's more to come? Uh, I can think about a few things. Yeah. Uh, you would have data standardization on payments and remittance side targeting 2025. Uh, you would also have AI transformation including proper uh, data cloud management. Uh, there is also a strong financial crime agenda uh, and the new guidelines from the G20 on cross-border payments to watch for. Uh, lastly, um, I would say speed to market customized solutions offered by the banks to their clients. That is a lot to consider. For sure. <laughs> so well done in listing all of that, Patricia. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you as well.